Race three is the Rock Hill Hurdle. It's a two and a half mile grade two. And we've got a field of 11 this time. And at the top we've got X Adventure for Darren Thompson, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, Baby Jane, David Robertson, Beach Breeze, David Hooley, Big Penny, Craig Beckwith, City Underground, Jim Murray, Gold Coast, Leon Van Rensburg, Loves No Friend, Martin Liddham, Sierra Vista Sooty, Vinnie Gerard, Smokescreen, David Robertson, and Stellar Performance for Leon Van Rensburg, a field of 11. Called in and away. And heading towards the first of the flights. I think there'll probably be 10, no, it's nine, just nine. It's only one more than in the two miler. And then all over the first one of them. The field already started to get a little bit strung out as well as the leading half dozen have gone off quite quickly. Although none of them seem all that keen to be the leader and they've sort of slowed it down to a dawdle and allowed the second pack to close. So they're now all back into one group again. But it's Beach Breeze in the purple jacket of David Hooley and Judge Anderson in the black and red hoops of Joshua Sutherland are disputing it now with the two David Robertson horses, Baby Jane and Smokescreen and the turquoise and maroon hoops on the inside and then Leon Van Rensburg's dark blue of Gold Coast looking behind them, Loves No Friend in the maroon with the, white, with the yellow cap and then a line of five of them disputing the back position if you like it's Beach Breeze and Judge Anderson then racing towards the second and over that one they go with Judge Anderson just slightly better jump. City Underground's a little untidy towards the rear. And it's now the overall back marker. But it's Judge Anderson and Beach Breeze are about three lengths clear of Baby Jane in third. And Gold Coast Smokescreen loves no friend in a three in a line. With X Adventure after them. As they make their way down the straight. the winning post this will be the final flight next time round that's the big screen past the winning post and then out for a complete circuit of the track there isn't really a big two and a half miler at the Cheltenham Festival you've got the Coral Cup handicap thing which I think is a group three and you've got the what used to be the David Nicholson Mays hurdle over two and a half miles but a lot of these will haven't really got a big group one to go for if they're two and a half mile hurdlers at the Cheltenham Festival, I don't know why it wasn't a big two and a half mile, I suppose, because they've got a big two and a half mile at Andrews, I suppose. In real life, I don't think they need it, but anyway, at the fourth, it's Judge Anderson and Beach Breeze were well clear. Gold Coast in third, and then Baby Jane is in fourth. It's still a performance after that. All safely. Over it, I think they're only two and a half mile group ones throughout the season, though, aren't they? So, in fact, there isn't one at Chilton, doesn't really matter that much as they get over the sixth. Uh, Beach Breeze is the leader, Judge Anderson is second, gap of four or five lengths, then back to Gold Coast in third. I suppose the secret is if you're going to upload a two and a half mile hurdle, make sure it's a filly. A mare. More to the point, those fillies won't be allowed in, would they? Anyway, it's Beach Breeze in front. On Judge Anderson second as they get over the seventh. That's the third from home. Then Baby Jane is in third. Smokescreen is fourth. Gold Coast and Sierra Vista Sooty next, and a little gap. So the rest of them are headed by City Underground. And loves no friend being driven along. X Adventure still a performance and Big Penny the back three. It's Beach Breeze in the lead, leading by half a length. Judge Anderson in second. Five furlongs still to go. David Robertson pair have now both switched to the outside, but Beach Breeze is still the leader for David Hooley, who specialises in these hurdlers, and he's over that one in the lead from Judge Anderson in second. Then comes Sierra Vista Sooty Smokescreen. Baby Jane is next city underground. He's running on, loves no friend. He's also trying to get into it as well. But it's Beach Breeze who leads. 
by about two lengths now and looks to be going strongly in front there's just one more flight to take and Beach Breeze is clear of Judge Anderson and City Underground loves no friend is back in fourth then Gold Coast Sierra Vista Sut as they come down towards this final flight so we're going to come down to the jump Beach Breeze is in front and holding on by about two lengths to City Underground in second then Judge Anderson and loves no friend they all jump it nicely apart from Leon's Gold Coast and it's Beach Breeze who's in front with a furlong to go Beach Breeze now being pressed by City Underground Judge Anderson on the inside loves no friend up the centre of the track but it's Beach Breeze who's hanging on Beach Breeze from City Underground loves no friend back in third it's going to be close as they race up towards the line it's just City Underground and gets up and take it City Underground wins it close for second would have been any of those depending on the angle but it's definitely City Underground that's taken it you can take your own choice out of about three or four of them for second probably just Beach Breeze I think it loves no friend in third but it's City Underground, the winner for Jim Murray. Beach Breeze second for David Hooley. Loves no friend, Martin Lidham third. Sierra Vista, Sutty Village on fourth. George Anderson, Josh Sutherland fifth. And just look at that, every single one of them, except for the horse that came last, is a mare. So obviously everybody does do their homework and check the Group 1 races at Cheltenham and they upload a mare to be their two and a half mile hurdler.